In this quick tutorial, I'm going to go over how to set up conversions inside of GA4. In GA4, conversions have been renamed to key events, but they're technically the same thing. Let's jump into GA4 to start setting up our conversions. To set up a conversion, you need to go to admin. Scroll down to key events, which are our conversions. Inside of here, we can mark events that we already have as conversions, as key events. If you don't have this event yet, then we can go set up the event first and then come and mark it as a conversion. So to do that, we come to the events tab over here. We can select create event. Here, we are going to want to select the create button. As you can see, I've already made a few custom events for this GA4 property. We need to name the event. So for this one, we're going to name it contact form completion because I'm going to mark this as the thank you page that people have taken to once they complete the contact form on the website. So you're going to need to make the first condition, the parameter name equals page view. This is going to pull all the parameters from that source event of page view and put it inside here as well. So you have all of that. Um, so you have all of that included in this conversion event, this key event. Now we're going to want to also make sure that we're only tracking this event when someone lands on our contact form submission page, the thank you page. So we're going to go page path and we're going to change the operation to contains. Then we're going to add the value of the path that the thank you page is on. So for this, it's going to be slash thank dash you. So what this means is that when someone lands on the thank you page, they are going to be counted in an event called contact form submission. We're going to copy the parameters from the source event. That's fine. And we're going to say create. We're just going to copy the event name. Yeah. And we're going to say create. Now we've created this event that we want to track now. So now what we need to do is we need to mark this as a key event because it's just going to be tracking. It's just going to be a normal event that's tracking. It's not going to come up in key events. So we're going to go back to key events on the left hand side. Now, if these key events have already started to happen. If this event has already started to happen, you might see it coming up in the events here. Now, you also might not see it. That's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to say new key event and we just got to name the event and this name has to correspond with the, the event that we created. So we copied that. We can paste that in here and we click save. Now, every time someone visits the thank you page on our website, it is going to trigger an event called contact form submission. And that event contact form submission is going to be marked as a key event. So when you go into your reports and you go into key events, you will see someone, you'll see all of those key events for the contact form submission. I have placed 
all of these details inside of a PDF, which you can download. There's a link in the description, which you can follow easily as well at your own pace. So go click on the link and get the, the PDF and you'll be able to follow all the details there. I also have a GA4 course that you can take. The link is in the description. And that is if you want to expand your knowledge of GA4 and really use it to its maximum. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. I put out weekly videos on digital marketing, which you can follow along with.